Happy DC Fandom Day, guys! Yeah, in case you didn't know, today is DC Fandom, which is an online event that DC is hosting, and it's pretty much giving us insight into everything they have coming to us. Not just the movies, but also the comics, games, TV shows. But of course, what I'm looking forward to the most is their sneak peeks on all their upcoming movies. And it's still going on. Not only did we get this new trailer, but we also got a little behind-the-scenes look of the Suicide Squad. And the thing that has me excited the most out of everything I've seen so far, that Flash concept art. Dude, it's Flash and Michael Keaton Batman! Oh my god! God, that Flash movie's gonna be awesome. I mean, come on. But right now, I got about an hour and a half until the next panel I'm looking forward to, which is the Snyder Cut of Justice League panel. So I got 90 minutes to kill, so now I'm gonna shoot my video on the new trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Man, it has been so long since I've made a trailer talk video. You know, because of this whole pandemic, movies have been getting delayed. This movie is now slated to come out on October 2nd of this year. And it looks like it might just happen since movie theaters are finally opening up again. That is everywhere except for New York and California, unfortunately. I'm in California, so I can't go to the movies yet. At least not a movie theater that's not a drive-in. It sucks, I want my movie theaters back. But anyway, enough babbling, let's dive into this new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. So the first thing you see here is Themyscira again. So yeah, it looks like we are gonna get some flashbacks to young Diana's childhood. I do wonder what the significance of these flashbacks is gonna be in this movie. Cause it looks like she's participating in the Olympics or something, like Themyscira's Olympics. It looks cool and it does look like that same young girl, the same young actress who was in the first Wonder Woman movie. I'm glad she's getting more work because she was good in the first one. And I am wondering if there is some digital de-aging going on there too. Probably. Of course, the biggest thing this trailer showcases though is the cheetah. There's no doubt about that. The first trailer showcased a lot of Maxwell Lord and it made it look like he's gonna be the main villain of this movie. But now it looks like both he and Cheetah are going to be sharing the villain spotlight. I don't know. But we get some more lines from Barbara Ann Minerva played by Kristen Wiig. I don't wanna be like anyone. I wanna be an apex predator. You've always had everything, while people like me have had nothing. I gotta say, that sounds a little, just a little bit cliche. The whole people like me have nothing and I want to be an apex predator. It's making her sound power hungry. It's reminding me of Abomination, Tim Roth's character Emil Blonsky from The Incredible Hulk, in that this villain is just power hungry and they want power just for the sake of having power. And there's no real character depth there, you know? They're just angry and they want power just because. I just want to be like, well, why should I care about you then? I hope there's gonna be more to Cheetah than just that. You know, hopefully they're just saving it for the movie. Cause I don't want the Cheetah to be a forgettable villain. Cause again, like I said in my video about the first trailer, I see the Cheetah as Wonder Woman's like absolute arch nemesis. Cheetah is one of the most, if not the absolute most popular Wonder Woman villain. And I don't know about you, but I've wanted to see a live action Wonder Woman versus Cheetah Smackdown for many, many years. So to just give Cheetah no character depth and just make her a shallow, power-hungry villain just kind of seems like wasted potential, you know? It just seems like a throwaway. And that would really bum me out. But of course, the action scenes in this trailer still look completely awesome. The part where Wonder Woman's just using her lasso to propel the bullets like That's new. <laughs> That's awesome. And of course, again, we have Chris Pine coming back as Steve Trevor. We still don't know how he's back. It's gonna be one of the biggest mysteries in the movie. I'm looking forward to seeing the answer to that. And that jet scene. The way I fly. They will never find us. I forgot to tell you. What? Radar. Will they, will they shoot at us? I'm still convinced, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the invisible jet. Which does make me wonder though. <laughs> wonder. If she had the invisible jet in 1984, then why wouldn't she use it, or at least have it, in 2016 and 17 for Batman v Superman and Justice League? I don't know, maybe it crashes in this movie. Like, maybe it's only in one scene. We see it, it's a bit of fan service, and then it crashes, and you're like, okay, that was a fun invisible jet scene, but now it's done. I'd honestly actually be okay with that, because again, the invisible jet is a little cartoonish. And then, at the end of the trailer, we finally get our first real look at full-form Cheetah. And upon seeing her for the first time, I was like, uh, I don't completely hate the design. I imagine there are going to be some fans out there or even some people who are not fans that are just going to see it and be like, that looks stupid, that looks terrible. But I mean, I knew from the get-go that when they announced they were doing Cheetah in this movie, that it was going to be hard to bring that design to a live-action medium. Because come on, I mean, she's a half-human, half-cat hybrid. In fact, I'm pretty sure some people are going to look at this and have cats flashbacks. But that is what Cheetah looks like in a lot of the lore. The cartoons, the comics, the games, whatever. And surely enough, that does does look like Cheetah. You know, how much better can it look, really? It could look more realistic, sure, more toned. It does look very CG-ish here. But they do have time, you know, the movie's coming out in just a couple months. Like the Venom trailer when I was like, ooh, that CG looks really bad. But then when the movie came out, I was like, okay, good, they fixed that CG. Maybe the same thing will happen here. Hopefully, anyway, because, yeah, it could look better here. So the problems I have with Cheetah here are not her design because, yeah, she looks like Cheetah. The problem I have is that it looks really fake. It looks really CG. Like the final fight in Black Panther. But they got time to touch it up, I hope they do. And
besides, I mean, it's Wonder Woman versus Cheetah in live action. So whether it looks fake or not, I'm still probably gonna fanboy out when I see this. Cause again, it's something I've wanted to see for many years. So yeah, in the end, I'm still super looking forward to Wonder Woman 1984, of course. I mean, I just wanna see a superhero movie on the big screen again. Or hell, I just wanna see a movie on the big screen again. I'm hoping this movie blows me away. It looks like it will, because I just love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, and Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. I love their chemistry. It's so there. I just love watching it. I watched the first Wonder Woman movie a couple days ago, and it is the best part of the movie. So to see it one more time should be a real treat. Just hopefully they don't bring him back again for the third one, because then it'll just be repetitive. Just saying. The third movie's gonna have to have some really good replacement for that Gal Gadot, Chris Pine chemistry, but we don't have to talk about that now. What we talk about now is the new trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? Are you gonna go see it in a movie theater or do you not feel safe enough yet? Whichever one you answer, I completely understand. And by the time I upload this, DC Fandom will probably be done, in which case I will ask if you watched DC Fandom, which panel was your favorite? So those are my questions. Are you gonna go see Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters and which DC Fandom panel was your favorite? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.